everyone. This is the second best practice that I'd like to share. Uh, as a math teacher and having an online class, there's some special challenges that come with that. I thought I'd do a little bit of an outline of how I present things in the online environment. Uh, first of all, I use classroom videos that I record at the same time as teaching my face-to-face -face class, and I'll post those daily for my online students. Another thing that I've done, and it helps with individual questions, is use a WaveCom tablet and do Jing videos. A little bit tricky to, to work on those tablets, but I have done that. And then the final thing that I really love, especially if a student asks me questions, is to use a LiveScribe pen cast. And so those come with a uh, special pen and paper, but it's a nice way. It's just like you're face-to-face, -face and you can explain the problem instead of worrying about typing the math symbols. Um, for student work in an online environment, we in the math department basically use a software called MyLabs Plus. It's a little strange because you have to type things in uh, correctly and so on, and students really can kind of fake their way through a class in a lot of the assignments. And so what I've decided to do is in my online and my face-to-face, -face, I give paper and pencil assignments, the good old-fashioned type. Um, and I have my students that are online actually scan and email those completed assignments back to me. And what I do is I grade them the old-fashioned way and then put comments and so on, and then I'll scan them and email them back. I find that's a lot easier. I know uh, Blackboard has nice tools that go with that, but I've found in the past that I, I'm not that good at uh, doing that. Um, I want to just address the best practice that I have here is uh, from the Quality Matters rubric, and that is having students have lots of opportunities to measure their own success. Uh, math Lab is great for that if students use it the way it was intended, but also I think having the personal touch and comments on individual papers is also important. Um, I also want to show you one little thing that I think is, is kind of cool, and that's a Voki. Um, and Voki is V-O-K-I, so if you go to www.voki.com, you can make these cute little characters and embed them in, um, in your Blackboard courses or online. And so you can see an intro video that I've done before.